have eaten breakfast and it was delicious. With how dreary it got today, the rain that's supposed to come, and the temperature drop, Nerdy and I decided that it would be best if we actually bundled up a little bit better. We got high tea tonight anyways, or this afternoon I should say. We are now out and about, about to walk through Temple Bar area since Nerdy hasn't had a chance to go see that yet. And then we're gonna be making our way to a bookstore, so exciting. <laughs> Well, we're still making our way downtown. <laughs> we're on Westmoreland now, checking out a little gift shop to see about these coin smashers for Nerdy. And then after that, we're gonna be heading to the bookstore. And then soon after that, tea. Actually, the day has gotten quite beautiful. Sun's come out, clouds have broken up, and the wind has died down at least slightly. So overall, yet another beautiful day. I love it. I feel like you're gonna knock the whole machine down. <laughs> you're so strong. <laughs> there we go. Are you happy? Now that you got your penny, well, copper coin, I should say. <laughs> good to move on to the bookstore? Yeah. All right, let's hit it. We have made it to the store. <laughs> a little bit of walking, walking by the Bank of Ireland. And it, again, the day has just become so beautiful, so I'm actually a little warm right now. Nerdy is in the bookstore looking for her particular book, and I'm not gonna do really much filming. I'll just real quick film walking in, because I want to respect the store. They don't have a no filming policy, but I just, you know, I want to be respectful. Did we find the book? We did, and... <laughs> wow. <laughs> of course, of course you did. Not now, I'm reading. Thank you. Thank you. And we're off. After the bookstore. <laughs> Making our way downtown. On the way to tea, we went through Trinity College and it is absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. Here, let me let me give you a little spin around what's going on here. Oh, that's a big door. <laughs> we 
Nerdy and I finally made our way to Pogue. This wonderful tea experience that she had booked for the both of us. There's a swath of different teas that we can drink unlimited. Although Nerdy and I found that the Irish breakfast tea is by far our favorite tea. As well, the tea experience came with this wonderful food tower. Everything on this was delectable. I'm trying to read my tea leaves, but they keep telling me that I can save 10% of my insurance if I switch to Geico. Huh. Nerdy, how about yours? We've been trying to reach you about your extended warranty. Hmm. <laughs> what kind of tea leaves do we get? I don't know. Ooh, well. We just finished tea time at Pogue, and wow, was it delicious. It was so good. You can't, you can't hear or see Nerdy right now because she's in front of me and there's cars going by, but she highly agrees. We're on our way to do the Kells book experience, which we have only 15 minutes to get there, but it's essentially across the street. We're gonna just easily meander our way over there while sipping on some breakfast Irish black tea that we got to go. Right now we're in the long room and it's been absolutely magnificent. I'm trying to be quiet and respectful, so if I'm a little too quiet, I'm, I might have to double over this later, but um, it's pretty awe-inspiring being in a place like this. Not just because of the history and the age, but the type of knowledge that people have seen bust up so great. Homer, Shakespeare, Bacon, you, you name it. It's just been, I don't know, it, it's kind of really a truly a magnificent experience, something I recommend for absolutely anyone to do. It's beautiful in more ways than one.
Well, we did the Book of Kells experience, the long room, as you saw, and then we went to a gift shop. <laughs> We're out of the gift shop now. We're actually making our way to one of the train stations because tomorrow we're heading out of the city. So we're kind of doing our due diligence and checking it out today so that we don't uh, fumble around tomorrow. Tonight we're probably gonna head back to the cobblestone because we had such a great experience last night. Met so many great new people. And the bartenders, our favorite bartenders will be back so be kind of nice to hang out with them and listen to more music but we're not quite there yet heading that way Of course, what kind of trip like this would be complete without a ride in the famous double-decker buses? Nerdy and I got a multi-day pass and we started partaking in the local transportation. Let me tell you, it was a load off our feet. <laughs> but before we retired to the cobblestone, Nerdy and I decided to go check out the Dublin Castle. Heading back to the Harding Hotel, Nerdy and I went to the Copper Alley Bistro to have this heavenly dinner. Would you find it surprising that this Guinness Irish beef stew was absolutely magnificent? And then we topped off dinner with a Guinness chocolate mousse. Oh yeah. Well, things happened so fast today. We went from from out and about to a castle, back to the hotel, had dinner, took a quick break, went back to the cobblestone, and now the night is over. So day two of Dublin has wrapped, and we are about to hop in our cab, and we're about to get back to the hotel to sleep. Adventures, have a good night.